I'll tell you this, who I was, you know, 25 years ago, in a sense is very different mm. than I am today. I was very open and I always like to still say, like I'm the girl who likes to dance on the tables and this and that. But at the end of the day, that person now sits in the corner table by herself. This planet is unstable and inhospitable. Atlas, my name is Smith. Is that really necessary? You're a computer program. I'm driving through L.A. and in Snow. No, I'm not. No? <laughs> what are you then? I am a computer program named Smith. No one likes a smart ass Smith. So I watched this movie, visually stunning. JLo, you're such a, a multi hyphenate. You do so many different things, but we never assign action hero to you. But I think it's time that, that we assign that label to you as well. Because I, I talk <laughs> to you from mother also. And yeah. you know, you're all over the place with the action. You know, it's funny that at this point in my career, um, that I you would think I did all these action movies when I was like in my 20s or yeah. whatever. And to be able as a kind of you know, woman of color to be able at this age to be, like you say, kind of a, the action this hero age, of the movie. 32. 32. I was gonna say 25. <laughs> right? Dad, you don't look a day past 25. <laughs> well, I know she got kids, so I'm just- Yeah, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> at that, it is really kind of, I think, incredibly, you know, inspiring for myself and groundbreaking that Netflix or some any big studio would go, yeah, that's the person we want in this yeah. role right now. It says a lot about how things are kind of progressing in a different way. And I think, you know, being the producer of the film, that's one of the things that we're always kind of striving for. It's like, okay, who are we gonna put in these two amazing roles? Sterling, Simu, you know, and have it really represent the world in the way that it truly is. Um, and that all these different people are in, uh, uh, and it's very kind of diverse, all yeah. of the roles in these movies. So it's it's an exciting thing. Yeah, I'm, yeah, action mom. There we <laughs> yeah. go. We don't have much time. Tarlin's planning an attack. Atlas, my primary protocol is to keep you alive. Same. I don't need your help. I don't trust any AI. You know, one of my favorite sayings is timing is everything. And I know it takes a long time to shoot TV shows, especially movies. You guys could have never predicted that the theme of AI would be hitting like it is at this particular time. I'm just curious, what do you guys think about as celebrities, the public discourse of, of AI? I, I can tell you, I saw mm -hmm. an AI generated Steph Curry video that I actually thought was might be real. It oh, they've done real. that to me too. And that, that's my point. As celebrities, yeah. what do you guys think about how I can go on the computer and just make something up? Well, they've re regulated it a bit now, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a black mirror. Anybody see this black mirror with uh, Salma Hayek? Um, yeah. Which is all about yeah. like in real time, sort of doing that thing. It's a little freaky. Like they, they have like Trumps out there that I'll see. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they did a LeBron one the other day when he was just like roasting like the Lakers and how he's gonna like torch everybody on the team or whatnot. But oh, I saw then it. I saw the lips moving. I was like, so LeBron, funny. Yes, say this. Yeah. I was like, this, it took this me. This is crazy. It takes a minute. You'd I be know. Like, because it, it's bro. almost like you. They had me like looking almost like 80 years old and saying, this is the cream that I use to look like how I normally look, <laughs> but, but literally my voice yeah. and saying like this, I was so sad. And then they showed other clips of me like on a crying from this movie or from that interview yeah. or Is something. Is that something you guys have to think about or do yes. you think about it? I mean. What do, you, how, what do you think about it? I think, you know, I think it, like I was saying earlier, everything, needs to be regulated, yeah. right? Like we can't just, we have to like learn from the internet and how like you realize like, okay, this is gonna connect us, but it's also gonna disconnect us. Mm -hmm. How this is going to, mm -hmm. you know, be great and kind of, you know, give us all of these wonderful things, but it's also gonna give us all of these like awful, horrible yeah, yeah, things yeah. on the internet. So yes. it's like understanding that we're at the pre precipice of kind of a revolution. Uh, where our lives are really gonna be changed with AI and knowing that we have to be cautious mm -hmm. as well as embrace all of the kind of advancements that are gonna happen and yeah. how we can use that to our betterment because it's very tricky, right? Like it, there is, an, in this movie, we explore that, the good and the bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. So I think we just have to be careful. I think it's Cautious. tough too as, as artists and storytellers when you start getting into the territory of AI generated art. Like what does that mean? Whether it's an image or a painting or 
uh, music or film, it's like, you know, AI can assemble something that feels so human and so real, but is it art? Is it art if there's no story? Is there art if there's no context or message behind it? You know, is it art if there's no soul? And I think that's, that's I mean, I would, I would argue no. I would argue that a human being has to make a decision to paint or to make something and to tell a story in order for it to be considered art. And so I, I think that's, that's the thing right now. Where there's a danger is where, is where AI, if you let AI be a decision maker and lead in decision making rather than as an enhancement or as a tool, uh -huh. that's when things get really dangerous. Because AI has no concept of empathy, empathy of people's privacy, of people's faces, of their likeness. AI has no sympathy for- Of community? For community, of, of, or exactly. Any, yeah. but like you, so you referenced Data earlier, Brent's finest character mm -hmm. from Next Generation. At a certain point, Data became probably as human as anybody else, right? Mm -hmm. you, like yeah. in terms of sentience, like, once they reach that place, then how do you make that decision? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Atlas, this won't work if you don't trust me. Okay. Let's do this. One of the other things that I picked up from the film was like the idea of trust. Like you had to mm. trust this, Come on now. this AI. <laughs> Come on, yes. And I'm just curious, you know, I think as human beings, all of us, some of us may deal with trust, right? But mm -hmm. with you guys being faces everywhere, like me, I can walk down the street. You guys can't. I can walk down the street. She can't walk down the street. <laughs> well, I, I, bet, they, I don't think any of you all can, can walk down do. the street. But in, just in terms of, of, of trust, like at this level in your careers, are you guys able to trust new people? Because there's mm. paparazzi, there's social media, there's blogs. You've been famous for a very long yeah, time. Yeah. If you meet a new person, AI or not, you know, how are you able to trust? Are you capable of trust? That's what I liked about the movie. It, it's somebody really opening up and trusting somebody again mm -hmm. for the first time after you've been traumatized. And your, to your question about kind of being in the public eye for so long, it is harder yeah. to trust. You don't know why people are coming up to you. Do You yeah. don't know what they want. You don't know how genuine they are. You don't yeah. know how, you know, agenda driven they are. And you, you know, so you have to be, you know, kind of, it, it, I, I'll tell you this who I was, you know, 25 years ago, in a sense is very different mm. than I am today. I was very open and I always like to still say, like I'm the girl who likes to dance on the tables and this, that, but at the end of the day, that person who was just kind of open and kind of excited and would talk to anybody yeah. and would do all the things yeah. now sits in the corner table by herself. You know what I mean? And that's that's yeah. that's different. And by that has to do by yeah. self-preservation. Yeah, by self-preservation and yeah, and kind of like protecting your, you know, having boundaries with mm -hmm. things because, you know, it, it can be tricky. It can be tricky to just be giving all the time, all the time and not filling up your own cup, right? So yeah. it's it's and it is it is about trust. And I think at the end of the day the movie really does a beautiful job of the relationship between Smith and um, Atlas kind of becoming more human together.